May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all in these final seconds. God bless you, beloved brothers and sisters. God bless your families. God bless my family. God bless my neighbors that's starting to watch. God bless all y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a little, it's a little smoky out here. You know, nine, nine million trees. They done, they done nine in California. You know, in the past year, nine million trees. You hear what I said? The land is cursed, beloved. And this, this ain't going this ain't gonna get better. What we're going through, beloved. We the generation, beloved, of revelation. That means we're gonna see the grass with it. We're gonna see fires. The land is like the garden of eating it say. What it say in Joel 2, verse 10 on down, the land is like the garden of eating before it. And then desolation. Desolation means never to be rebuilt again. That, that's what's coming, beloved. But it ain't for you to be paralyzed with grief. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ with the priestly blessing. Let the, let the face of the Lord shine upon all of us. It ain't the fear, beloved. The fearful and the cowardly and the unbelieving and all liars and sexually immoral and sorcerers, if they don't repent and they continue in that practice, they won't even see the kingdom of heaven. You hear what I said? It, it say, it say hell is reserved for them. This is this why we do what we do. You hear what I said? We, we got to ask God for, for uh, extra strength. It ain't for you to fear that one, one, three from the crack. It ain't for you to fear leave the oil and the wine, but everything being taken away. It's not for you to fear, beloved. Be, 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 be grateful. Let's pray. Let's pray first. Hallelujah. Let's pray first. Hallelujah. Let's pray first. Hallelujah. Y'all ready? Hallelujah. Oh, dear, beautiful Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Please give us supernatural overlaps and strength, Lord. Remove any fear, Lord. Take their tears. Take their fears, Lord. Surround us with multitudes of angels, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for the whole church of God, Lord. Break the chains of addiction, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for our lost family members and friends. I pray for the whole church of God, Lord, that you give us strength, Lord. Supernatural everlasting, and supercharged strength. Hallelujah. Praise God, great God. Watch this head back. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yes, so we pray for the whole church of God, Holy Ghost, fire, and the devil. Hallelujah. I command every soul to attack hell, disarm all principalities and powers in the air in the name of Jesus. Praise God, according to God. Watch this about Jesus Christ. Say, Hallelujah. Please give me the right words to be able to speak, to be able to articulate in the godly, exhilarated fashion. Hallelujah. To capture the hearts and minds of many. Hallelujah. Praise God, according to God. Oh, no fear. Hallelujah. Praise God, according to God. Watch this about Jesus Christ. Say, Hallelujah. We pray for the whole church of God, Lord. We pray for the babies. I rebuke any witchcraft or sorcery. Praise God, God, God. Watch this everybody just comes out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, surround us with Moses, Susan, angels. Lord, I pray for all your people. Hallelujah. We can't do it without you. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Restore favor to our strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I command every soul to attack the air square. Attack the terrestrial square. Attack the celestial square. Attack the dark house of cruelty with extreme heavenly force and profound proficiency. With a fist, cover us in the light of your glory. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Watch this, Lord. I pray for the elderly, Lord. I pray for all your servants, Lord. Hallelujah. They're feeling it low. Praise God, God, God. We are not alone because the Father is with us. Hallelujah. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. I pray for my girls, Lord. I pray for lost family members and friends. I pray for the lost in general. Holy Ghost, fire in the devil. I rebuke Satan. Destroy the devil's plan. Praise God, God, God. Watch this, everybody. Just because I pray for all your people, Lord. I pray for the whole church of God. I pray for these babies. I pray for those that don't know how to pray. Make a way out of no way, Lord. Defend us and fight for us. Praise God, God, God. Watch this, everybody. Just because We pray for the poor of the land, Lord. Bring the sword in the land. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. And to watch me see trouble ahead. He must want to get out of this deep eye vent day. Praise God. Yes, so I feel the spirit of the Lord is sent through the spirit to our deal. Destroy that spirit of heaviness on your people. Praise God, great God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We will not fear. Hallelujah. As the mountains get crumbled in the sea, we will not fear. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord is the conqueror of the nations. Destroy the fiery darts of the devil. 
Yes, Lord, lead us not to temptation. Hallelujah. We'll pull us out of devastation. We're going to see it, Lord. Hallelujah. And deliver us from the evil one in the name of Jesus. We understand the whole world lies in the sway. Of the evil one destroyed the devil's plan, make a way. Out of no way, Lord, hallelujah. Our enemies surrounded us like bees. But in the name of the Lord, we're ready to start. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that sees us right. Praise God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Watch this, Lord. And please deliver us, Lord. Please keep us. Please cover us. Please shield us, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, please keep us in the living. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, sir. Let your peace flow like a river, Lord, in the midst of all this chaos. In the midst of all this global chaos. You are our God, Lord. Hallelujah. Apart from you, we are nothing. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Help us to do the right thing. Help us to show compassion. Help us to be merciful in these last seconds. Hallelujah. The comfort of faith, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Great without ceasing. Then get up ourselves in the healing power. Hallelujah. Let me be healed. Let them know I feel. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. Praise God, great God. Watch us, everybody. Please keep us. Please keep us. Please keep us. Holy Ghost, fire on the devil. Lord, come and hallelujah. Give us resilience and cover us in the light of your brilliance. Hallelujah. Praise God, great God. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Hallelujah. Lead us away from the traps and the snare of the enemy. I feel the spirit of the Lord. Praise God, great God. Watch us, everybody. Just keep us. I pray for everybody that's going to hear this message on your too. In the name of Jesus. I pray for my beloved. I pray for my girl. Destroy every scheme of the devil. I pray for all your servants worldwide in the name of Jesus. Do not find the strength when you go through a fiery trial. Hallelujah. We smile on the castle of the wicked. Y'all already know how I go up over here. I ain't even know I ended up over there because it's serious. I ain't even know I ended up. I ain't even know I ended up over there. But the stage we seeing, beloved, I ain't even bring my rag with me down. Hold on. Nope. Gotta improvise. Don't be afraid, beloved. God is truly with you, beloved. The only reason why you're here, right now to see the end, you could have been born any other time. Many, 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 many righteous people desire to see these times and to see what you see, but they didn't, beloved. Hallelujah. We got to let our righteousness, what it say, what Jesus say. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord. You feel the spirit of the Lord. We ain't going to be here long. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Give us supernatural everlasting strength. What did it say? In Matthew 13, verse 15, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For surely I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see and did not see and to hear what you hear and did not hear. Do you hear what I said? Many at many desire to see what we see in right now, beloved. That the revelation is clearly being seen and shown. Many desire to see it. Go, 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 consider you special enough, beloved. Can let you see the increase of famine. But you're gonna live through it. See the apocalypse, how everybody expecting it to happen. They thinking it's just gonna be. It's over. Nah, God, no, no one was protected in the flood, beloved. It say it'll be just like in the days of Noah, beloved. And lie. You hear what I said? They probably had other family members, but but they ain't want to listen. But we need to ask God so we don't be so judgmental on people. Because it happens with me all the time. You hear what I said? And that's why I'm here right now. It happened with me all the time. But we can't be so judgmental on people. Like, don't fault people. For, for their weaknesses at doing, doing narcotics and none of this stuff, beloved. We got to show more compassion to people. I was, God rescued me from, I was a functioning dope dealing addict. You hear what I said? I'm doing dope and selling it. And the majority of the time, that's how it be. They be like, don't get high off your own supply. But most of the time, that's why people be getting high. So they can do it for free. You hear what I said? But, but it say, buy from me. God said, Buy from me. You hear what I said? 
the, the, the invitation to abundant life in Isaiah 55. You hear what I said? What did it say? Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord destroy the devil's plans. Lord, please give me strength, Lord. Yes, Lord. We need strength every day, Lord. Hallelujah. To the holy people's strength is all the way shattered. Keep us holy and pure, Lord, before your eyes, Lord. Not what man think. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What does it say? Isaiah 55. An invitation to abundant life. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me here and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you in the name of Jesus Christ. What does it say? The sure mercies of David, indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and a commander for the people. Surely you shall call the nation you do not know and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he is glorified. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. Return to the law. Don't doubt the law. You hear what I said? Don't doubt the law. What did it say? And the righteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. See, we got to stop trying to think for God because our, how we think God should answer a prayer, sometimes that ain't the case, beloved. All the time, every prayer, God may answer in a whole nother way that turn the curse into a blessing. But we want God to make the enemies perceive. Sometimes God ain't got to take a life. Like I say in, in 2 Samuel 4, do you feel the spirit of the Lord? God is ministering to somebody right now. You feel the healing power? You feel the spirit of the Lord? I feel the spirit of the Lord. And I feel the healing power coming off my head. That's why it feel like it feel like an angel touching my head. You hear what I say? Hallelujah. You hear the rhyme scheme? You hear what I say? Praise God, according to God. What does it say? For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. See, we be thinking like, God, hurry up and uh, bring destruction. Yeah, we want, this, we want it to come. So at the same time, we want people to be saved during it because nobody ain't going to listen. Let the, let the wicked forsake his way. I see the sword coming, beloved. The sword is coming. It don't matter what it's looking like. Are you, do the sun got a face? Can the sun be defaced? Fearful sights in the heavens. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. You see the sun, man, do the sun got a face? Do the sun boast the S-O-N and the S-U-N? Do the sun got a face? Can the sun be defaced? And what is it Hallelujah. I'm feeling the spirit of the Lord now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. They get up my shit about that kid of our soul. Hallelujah. Pursue our enemies, Lord. Hallelujah. Let it perceive that this work was done by the hand of the law. Let the hand be let the hand be, of the Lord be upon our enemies. Hallelujah. To overthrow the plots that they got against us in the name of Jesus Christ. When they step in the guard well, it's it's on the cracking. You hear what I said? We it's on the cracking. It's a wall. You hear what I said? The war is against the last Christians on the earth. You hear what I said? I just had another rapture dream this morning. I seen family members putting on all the flower shirts and everything, looking for me. And they was spraying on easy. You hear what I said? You hear what I said? Because I ain't been really, you know, I got a whole thing of Skittles left. You hear what I said? I got a whole bunch of, you hear what I said? I've really been on the on, on the seeds candy. I, you hear what I said? Get what I like. You hear what I said? Enjoy the little things right now while you can. You hear what I said? 
I've been on the seas, can you? How you hear what I said? Open up that box, come to find out it's on, on by Warren Buffett. You hear what I said? I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? But you know, I, I'm enjoying the little things. The level we pray over everything. You hear what I said? Do you feel the spirit of the law? You feel the spirit of the law? We popping collars and flower hoodies, everything, every day. You hear what I said? Do you feel the get in and in my shit and my suit? Hallelujah. Do the sign got a face? The sign got a face. And they over here, the sign got a face. I'm, we gonna get to it, the sign got a face. Can the sign be defaced? Do you feel the spirit of the Lord? We just bathe, we just in the abundance of peace. We just bathing in the Lord right now. We just worshiping the Lord together. When you sing to the Lord, or you spit that fire for the Lord, or you do whatever for the Lord, do it heartily and mightily for the Lord, deed, word, whatever. You, you heard? You hear what I said? Do the sign got a face? What it say? Hallelujah. In, in Psalm, Psalm 89, Verse 37, like the moon, even like the faithful witness in the sky, it's a lie. Do the sun got a face? Do the moon got a face? You hear what I say? There are fearful sights in the heavens with perplexity. Fearful sights in the heavens. You hear what I say? Mars got hit by, by a comet. You hear what I say? And it wasn't no earthquake. You hear what I say? It wasn't no earthquake. It was a Mars quake. You hear what I say? And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. You hear what I say? When it's going, when it's going down, we looking up. You hear what I said? The faster everything get the, going down on the earth. You hear what I said? Because heaven is God's foot, footstool. You hear it? Heaven is God's throne, and earth is God's footstool. You hear what I said? And God's shaking the universe. You see the galaxies colliding. You, you seeing what they picking up on these telescopes? The sun, God got all type of signs taking place. There'll be signs in the sun and the moon. There'll be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. With perplexity, are you seeing it? With fear, do the sun got a face? Both the sun, both both the sun, the star in our galaxy got a face, and Jesus the Christ got a face, and you gonna see him. We making preparations for God. You hear what I said? When the rapture took place, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. but but we was licking up, but it was going down on the earth. It wasn't peaceful on the earth already. It was already cracked. Do you feel the spirit of the Lord? God just start pouring out a spirit on me right now. You hear what I say? It don't matter. Man, I already went through the phase where everybody like, he crazy, he crazy. I'm out yelling. Man, I did a couple videos where I just show y'all. You hear what I said? Where I'm shouting from the rooftops. You hear what I said? Shouting on the block. Everybody, everybody thought I was crazy. Before, I was doing that before I started doing YouTube. I did that for two years straight, warning about the drought. I said, it's a pestilence of rats coming to California. I said, a pestilence of rats and flies. God, God covered the whole area with flies. I seen this morning, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I know it sounds like we all over the place, but we gotta be sporadic and erratic because we on God time. You hear what I said? But I seen family members putting on, on the flower shirts. I, I be like, we be flying the apocalypse, but they don't wanna wear them bright colors. You hear what I said? Not, not in them times. Not in them times where they was dressing up like old kings and queens, putting the thumbs up and the thumbs down. It was it was sexual depravity just taking place randomly. Just it was like, are you not entertained? Like like the octagon, but it was but it was but it was but it was sexual perversion. When the rapture happened, my neighbor, one of my neighbors, she was pulling her hair out looking for her her children. I seen dogs running. I seen some dogs make it to heaven during the rapture. Pray, praise the Lord, all the creation is safe. The star, what it say? I know it sound like we all over the place, but we going somewhere now. You hear what I said? This is how we roll over here. Organic and off the planet. You hear what I said? You seen the fearful signs in the heavens? God speaking, are you paying attention? God drying up the earth. It's an influx of demons on the earth that look human, and they not ugly. That's what make them deadly. They not ugly. They scared. I'm having dreams. I'm having UFO dreams again, and they they already here. The technology beam me up, Scotty, with the Apple with the Apple Watch on. Beam me up, Scotty. They, they, the technology. What you think? There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. The Baghdad battle. The five G old obelisk in Egypt. And this modern day Egypt, you hear what I said? Who sod who spiritually Sodom in Egypt? You hear what I said? That's referring to America. In America time is up. You hear what I said? They like we go, we're sending the 101st 
I'm, I don't got nothing against soldiers because I got multiple men in my family and I respect what they did going to war and all that stuff. But this is different because God ain't with the army of the USA. This is much different. This is of greater magnitude. This is biblical proportions. You hear what I said? This nation has sinned against God grievously. God ain't, God was just grieved with Noah's generation. God is coming with fierce rebukes to this nation. And the rapture did happen out of nowhere. You hear what I said? People running around. That's why they keep talking about UFOs. The devil, he's seeing the spirit. So he trying to mimic and see. That's why not even Jesus know the day of the rapture. Because he, he might accidentally speak it to somebody. You hear what I said? So, 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 so concerning time. Even Jesus give a warning. What it say in Acts? I know it sounds like we all over the place and we praising the Lord right now. What it say? Let me turn to this real quick, and I'm going to go back there where, where we go pray with the, the creation prayer. What does it say? In Acts 1, verse 7, and he said to them, It is not for you to know times and seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And we end the end as we know it. We in the end that how this is going. We in the end as we know it. It ain't gonna just be one thing. I always talk about 50 global catastrophes that affect the whole earth. When you see France getting hit with a nuclear motor, when you see what I'm what I'm seeing, I loathe what what Joel say? I loathe what did Joel say? Let me let me let me let me, let me go here real quick and then we're gonna go back to air. <laughs> I know it's sound like we all over the place. I don't man. I just let the Lord speak. Cause I'll I'll be I'll be speaking to multiple people at the same time. You hear what I said? You like, I was looking for the answer for that because it'd be the Holy Spirit when power come upon you. I'm a Holy Spirit filled with justice and might. You hear what I said? I'm, we, I'm in it for the long haul. The second mile going the distance. You hear what I said? All, with all resistance against uh, with, against the AI, I'm, I'm part of the giant kind of resistance. You hear what I said? I'm, what did it say? You feel the spirit of the Lord? I feel it from the head. Bled, I feel it from the head to the feet. You hear what I said? Unique. You hear what I say? I feel it to the, I feel it to the head from the head to the feet. You hear what I said? We speak unique. You hear what I said? What did it say? Job. Job 7 verse 11. Therefore, I will not restrain my mouth, no matter what. I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I a sea or a sea serpent that you set a guard over me? When I say my bed will comfort me, my couch will ease my complaint. Then you scare me with dreams and terrify me with visions. Joel was even having visions of the end. I'm having dreams. I'm seeing multiple bodies piled out in, in, in France and the UK and USA. God removed his hand. The reason why, the, why all of a sudden they talking about this influx of uh, UMOs. You, you, expecting, you expecting the Antichrist to look like something that's going to be totally different, though. You hear what I said? Why do you, you want to know that so bad? Why do you want to know that so bad? He already here. If that's what you want to know, Andy Christ, he already on the earth. That's why it's an influx of UMO sightings. You hear what I said? They, do you think about shit and about sort of about that key? You haven't dreamed about UMOs. I, I, I clapped my hands in the in the dream and all of them fell down. You hear what I said? I, I, like, a, like a spiritual EMP. I said in the name of Jesus, they clapped my hands and they all fell out the sky. Oils. You hear what I said? Metallic oils. Big, huge, metallic oils. They're already here. You, you expecting the Antichrist to look like it's a spirit. And he ain't gonna be what you think it is. You hear what I said? You ever seen the last dragon? I'm known God. 
when he found out that the fortune cookies was being made by artificial intelligence. You, you dealing with something supernatural, beloved. This ain't no game. They, they, they know the rapture is getting ready to take place. They just don't know when. So they want to they wanna do a... The devil try to mimic what he can't mimic, beloved. He can't, he can't mimic God power. But they want to make it seem like they're going to tell a lie. Like when Jesus' body was removed from the tomb in Matthew. What did it say? I'm going to go through some of the books, too. The time be flying. What did it say? In Matthew 28, verse 11. The soldiers are bribed. Now while they were going, behold, some of the guard came into the city and reported to the chief priests all the things that had happened. And when they assembled with the elders and consulted together, like the, like the leaders of the world consulting together, they know the news is finna fall. You hear what I said? What did it say though? I assembled with the elders and consulted together. They gave a large sum of money to the soldiers. Said they got about shit in our suit. Say, tell them his disciples came at night and stole him away while we slept. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will appease him and make you secure. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews to this day. So when, when, when that, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, and God just automatically snatch everybody and they, and they fly up. Do you feel the healing power? Do you feel the spirit of the Lord? God speaking. The devil want to try to mimic. But before we go up, we're going we gonna to do that clap supernaturally. Because it's say we're going to be witnesses to the end of the earth and to the to power come upon us. Certain, certain, certain of God's service go get power that's unreplicable. You can't repli replicate it. It can't be duplicated or nothing. You hear what I said? Clap and make them all, they're going to all fall down. God uses some of you, what you're going through, as for your Red Sea moment. What, what does that entail? You hear what I said? God hardened Pharaoh's heart. And, 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 and after he brought judgment and escalated the judgment through each plague and escalated it, Escalated to where they knew and they perceived that this wasn't no act of no human being. They be thinking they fighting against a human being. What it say in Isaiah? And we're gonna go through the books. You feel the spirit of the law? God be preaching. God be preaching. Hallelujah. I'm just a servant of God. Here to do what I can for for, for all the wrong I did, beloved. You hear what I said? I was not this way. God had to by the transform and renewing of my mind. He, he, he had to transform my mind from being rewired from doing all that dope and all the trauma and, 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 and um, for being able to forgive myself for all the evil I did. The magic, I, I can't even say everything on here. You hear what I said? But I repeat. You hear what I said? It don't matter what nobody thinks. You hear what I said? I know what God brought me from, and I'm saying to you, beloved, God could do the same thing that was transformed by the renewing of your mind. He had to rewire my brain. You hear what I said? And, 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 and instead of instead of uh, uh, letting the dopamine go through my body, God filled me with joy that I never had, inexpressible joy. Peace be multiplied in your lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is a whole nother this a whole type of different ministry right here, right now. You hear what I said? And we, we, we having a candid conversation. You hear what I said? Cause things are finna escalate. But what it say? They be thinking they fighting against a human being. You hear what I said? You ain't fighting against no human being. You hear what I said? To the enemies of the Lord, you not fighting against no human being. And when you, and when, and when you, and when you attack us by being a false witness, do you understand that God, the hand of the Lord is upon you? Do you understand that? Let the hand of the Lord be upon all our enemies. When God touch your life in a certain magnitude, in a way, you hear what I said? God will take the curse that you try, a curse without provocation will not alight. God will take the curse that you try to curse us with, 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy this mountain or break it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy every stronghold in enemy. God will take the curse and turn it to a blessing. You hear what I said? Here to teach you a lesson. And the spiritual warfare, this thing we call spiritual warfare. You hear what I said? You're not fighting against no human being. What did it say? Isaiah 31. Isaiah 31 verse 2. Yet he also is wise and will bring disaster and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against and against the help of those who work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And their horses are flesh and not spear. When the Lord stretches out his hand, both he who helps will fall. And he who is helped will fall down. They all will perish together. When you think you're fighting against God, the one that sent me. I did not go to Bible college or none of this. God pulled me out of the trenches of, the, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of violence, of bloodshed. Pulled me out of the trenches, said, you can't, he, God was talking about the, the mother of my daughter. You can't hit my daughter. You can't be in domestic violence. Your baby is seeing this. All this evil, God said, when I snore in that line of coke and that ice and I died, God revealed to me every time. We fall into the trap of the enemy of being domestic abuser. That's why I repent. You hear what I said? Don't matter what nobody talking about. I, God, I have to forgive myself. You understand that? I have to forgive myself. Like you got to forgive yourself for all the bitterness, for the secret of apology. Forgive yourself. But when I when I went to hell, God. God showed me I was down there for murder. I accidentally, and every time you abuse somebody, it's murder. That's why I'm telling you, beloved, you need to repent. God forgave me, beloved. Understand that. God can forgive you, beloved. I was the worst type of sinner. I don't even say anything because I can't. You hear what I said? But the hand of the Lord is upon all our enemies. They're not fighting against no human being. I'm a servant of God. And anybody who rolled with us over here that really serve God, even if it's to save one soul, they are servants of God. They are untouchable. When God is really fighting for them, you can't do that. There are, there are people promoting human beings and doing all this. I exalt God. I stole God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in, in his creation. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm like that. Like it say, what I was about to turn to in Psalm, do you feel the spirit of the Lord? Forgive yourself. Ask for compassion and mercy. Forgive yourself, beloved, for the, for the multiple divorces, whatever. Just forgive yourself. Because that's where it starts with us. The forgiveness starts with us first. When you're forgiven by God, you'll be at peace, beloved. Even the haters of the Lord that try to come at us for no reason, because they don't understand. They speak evil, evil dignitaries. Not understanding that I'm actually here to warn. I don't, I, by the grace of God, I'm not doing what I was doing. You hear what I said? My city, just like everywhere else, nothing but gunplay. Gang banging, you hear what I said? People, people, people like that's my enemy. How is you your enemy? When bloodshed gets shed, it'd be hard for you to, when you see your homie on the ground and you can't do nothing about him, nothing about him. He, he bleeding out, he died right in front of your face. There's nothing you could do. It took me a long time to understand 
what happens when you forgive. We got to forgive, beloved. Forgive yourself, though, first. Forgive yourself first. I know you be trying to help everybody and do all this. You trying to help multiple people. But you got to start with you first, beloved, right now. So you'll be able to be able to help when trouble comes, because trouble is coming. And you're going to need the peace of the Lord when the panic ensues. You're going to be the difference of that one or two. You may, you may be putting to somebody's soul in the hands of Jesus. You may be the last person they see. You have to comfort the faint-hearted in 1 Thessalonians 5. Comfort, comfort the faint-hearted, the weak in spirit. Let this message strengthen your resolve. Resilience, perseverance, endure. It say he or she who endure to the end shall be saved. In the end, we got to persevere. You are overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. What shall separate us from the everlasting love of God? Nothing, beloved. Not family, not family, not nothing. But you need to be the difference right now before the moves fall, before California is broke apart. We just had a 5.1 warning. I told you when you see the war of Royal Royal Alice over the Andes Mountains, that's the signal of doom. And it just blew a 250 mile hole. The earth finna get rocked. Not by one 9.0. I told you. The first one gonna hit. And it was like in the dream. The very 24 hours later, another one hit somewhere else. 9.0. That's the problem. That's why nobody, they don't take us serious. Cause they 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 ain't seen that every earthquake and volcano and tsunami that hits since 2014 and everything that's happening right now. God had me write it down on the private side already. And it's starting to come to pass. That's why it seemed like they're celebrating when 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 supernovas is coming together, when they when it that's that's like how my love is for the church. That's how my love is for the afflicted, for the broken hearted, for the defenseless, for the innocent. You hear what I said? The king of the innocent. That's how my love is for the church. The closer we get to coming to the rapture and all everything that's coming our way, because it's on the calendar. It's on the list of things. The closer the supernovas, the galaxies get to each other, that zero point, zero, what they call it, zero point gravity. When it get, the closer it get, the faster ever, the days have been shortened. The closer it come to Jesus actually showing up, the more it's going to celebrate. And the devil knows his days are shortened. He see the signs in space. I celebrate, he watching the signs. He see how God is operating through this person, through this person, while they exalting men. While multiple people is exalting men and buying some scriptures and doing all this stuff, faking it. All, all I'm after is to try to help you, us right here, right now, whoever else listen, because you've never been on subscribing to me. You are so. I talked to some of y'all. We pray together. God don't show up with signs, not even on the, not even on all the videos. God don't show up while we were just speaking regular, praying, talking. Because God love you, beloved. He forgave you. Don't let nobody, your husband, your wife, nobody say that God, God don't love you. If you here right now listening to this, and if you here on this earth right now, at this time it say, blessed are you who make it to the end of this prophecy and the end of the world. It's the end as we know it. Jesus Christ is really coming. You hear what I said? Don't let nobody deter you. They not fighting against no human being. You say, God is on my side. Who could be against me? Who? Who could be against me if God is for me? God is for you. God is so massive. He look at the earth and the inhabitants on the earth as grasshoppers. But God is so massive and protective of his people and love his people so much in these times, in the middle of temptation, hard to treat, sorcery, Paganism, gun violence, and for you to be holy and pure and righteous, to walk and navigate, not tormenting his righteous soul. Ain't that what it's saying, 2 Peter 2? 
lie to him in his righteous soul. They talking about doing this and that. They are storing up their treasures on the earth. I'm like, man, we trying to rescue people. God said, go out and fight them. Tell them what you seen, son. I seen family members left behind. Multiple family members where I'm at. This whole place became a beam again. It's back then. The ID network, it looked like a tree, but it ain't no tree. You know what I said? Kind of talking cold. You know what I said? We living in the last day. The mark of the beast is on the earth. You waiting to see the Antichrist when you should be preparing the holiness and righteousness for Jesus Christ. The Antichrist, if you want to know, the Antichrist is already here. You see the spirit of the Antichrist working every way. But he got to come in peaceably, like it's saying Daniel 11. He come in peaceably, speak, speaking every language, fluently. He, 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 he ain't going to have the desire of women because he may not even be a human being. You hear what I say? You wait for the anti. The Antichrist ain't even a human being. He not even human. You hear what I say? The Antichrist, he not human. He just looked that way. Just like you expecting the fallen angels to look. They not ugly. They smell good. They know how to be nice. Demons know how to speak to you nice to lead you to hell so they could torment you in hatred. Because hell is totally devoid of any peace. You're totally, there's no peace down there. It's no, when they say, they're, 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 yeah, see, give me a cup of cool water to cool my tongue. The rich man in Lazarus in Luke 16, verse 19 on down, when he said, stick your hand in that water, he was seeking not, not only the abundance, it said the abundance of peace will flow like a river through you. He was seeking the peace. When he asked Abraham, because Abraham was in glory and peace, the get up, oh my God, the get up, I shit it up, I shoot it up, I die, kid, I'm also. He was seeking the peace of the Lord. And it was totally absent. He said he went to, he was buried, woke up. It said he woke up. He opened his eyes. That's when you really wake up. When I when I fell in hell, I, my body was still laying on my bed. I tried to reach back into my body. I fell into hell and hit the ground. And it didn't knock the air out of me because I was already out of here. I didn't get revived when clinically dead. God took my spirit and my soul out of my body to show me how I was living was wrong. And to destroy the works of the devil in the same sense. But it took, I prepared a body for me that you did not ask for. That's what many of us is doing to be vessels used for the latter glory. And this is the latter glory. When we declare cripples is getting up and dancing to the Lord, blind and seeing, people being healed. You hear what I said? I represent God to the fullest. All the way. If, if it took me to be separated from certain people, sometimes God will separate you from certain people in order to preserve both of you. You don't put new wine skins on the old, then 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 a piece of it to get torn. You put it, you, you put you sold, what did it say? You sold together so they both preserve. We are the generation that's about to see the news. Wow. I'm not talking about in years. Everybody like, we got two years. Nah, we don't. That's what it's the urgency about. They want two years because they live in a big crib. They got cars. They like, we got good health care, whatever. I'm telling you, I'm a doomsday prophet. And I'm prophesying that you're seeing all the signs and celebrating. The closer the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ comes, the faster things is gonna speed up. I seen God, he had my notebook. I had to, I had to start a new notebook. Cause I, I filled it the other one. In a dream, there's no book. Don't worry about my pen, I'll grab it. 
in the dream. This notebook lifted up this morning in the dream. After seeing the rapture, I get the rapture is real, regardless of what anybody thinks. We're gonna see destroyed it because God gotta let certain things happen so everybody, so every knee bow and people repent, and then He gonna snatch them and say the first shall be last and the last shall be first. How you think a lot of repentance gonna happen simultaneously all around the world at the same time where the rapture could take place where people are holy? The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. We preaching the good news. God said, I am God. I fight and defend my own. So we're not worried about, but it, but, but this notepad popped up real big. You know, I can't see. So God put my face all the way, all the way to it. You hear what I said? But it was huge. So it was, a, it was this notebook in the dream, but God made it huge. Like I was holding it and then it lifted up in front of me like, like a 57 inch TV. You hear what I said? Popped up and God put my face to it like he was gonna cack back and pie me in the face. But he was like, I ain't gonna pie you in the face. I know you can't see. I created you. And I know you can't see that well. So look, if you ain't got your glasses on in your dream and normally you can see real far in your dream, all this stuff. You hear what I said? God said, Look, I'm God, I defend my own. You hear what I said? God said he fight and defend his own. And it's about to be on. You hear what I said? They trying to change the chromosomes and it's about to be on. Yeah, God is with us over here, regardless of what anybody talking about. They can't understand it. God take away the discernment of the elders and say, ain't that what it says, Job? What is eight? Joel 12. Joel 12, verse 15. If he withholds the waters, they dry up. If he sends them out like the Mississippi River, drying up. When I seen the earthquakes in Mary, I seen the Great Lakes turn into one body of water and start running backwards. The Mississippi was running backwards. You hear what I said? What did it say? If he sends them out, they overwhelm the earth. With him are strength and prudence. The deceiver and the deceiver are his. He leads counselors away plunder and makes fools of the judges. When they like, you going to jail. God, what God say? When would, what God, what God say? In the name of Jesus Christ, what God say? In Joel 12, verse 17, Verse 16, with him are strength and prudence. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leads counsels away plundered and makes fools of the judges and looses the bonds of kings and binds their waists with a belt. He leads princes away plundered and overthrows the mighty. He deprives the trusted ones of speech. And people can't speak when they confuse. When God hit them with confusion, let the angel of the law pursue them. Hit them with dog. Hit, hit, hit our enemies with mutual confusion. Let them be brought to mutual confusion. Like when they was worshiping Diana and X. They was worshiping Diana and X. And the whole city became with confusion. They don't even know why they gathered. God still operate the same when you're fasting and praying. Eric held a dragon slaying in a slate every your mind, yo. In the name of Jesus. And takes away the discernment of the elders. He pours contempt on princes and disarms the mighty. He uncovers deep things out of darkness and brings the shadow of death to light. He makes, he makes nations great and destroys them. He enlarges nations and guides them. He takes away the understanding of the chiefs of the people of the earth and make them wander in the pathless wilderness. They grope in the dark without light and he makes them stagger like a drunken maid. God take the discernment away from the elders, the council, all that.
That's supercharged splay. Let me thigh though. Thank you, Lord. What did it say? In Acts 13, verse 6. Now, when they had gone through the island to Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew named Bar Jesus, who was with the pro council. Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elements, the sorcerer, for so his name is translated, withstood them, seeking to turn the pro council away from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, O oh, full of all deceit and all fraud. You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord? And now indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. You hear the rhyme scheme? The hand of the Lord is upon all our enemies in the name of Jesus. You can't stop the plan of God. You can't stop it. No matter what you do, no matter if they draw forces, none of them going to go unpunished. You're not playing with no human being. You're playing with God. you stepping into God's realm. And God said, I will fight and defend mine. In the name of Jesus, do you fear the spirit of the Lord? Hallelujah. What is hey? In Acts 5, verse 38. And now I say to you, keep away from these men and let them alone. For if this is the plan or this work is of man, it will come to nothing. But if but if it is of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest you even be found to fight against God. You hear what it say? Can't stop God. What it say, Nehemiah, real quick. Before I open up the books, you hear what I said? God be minister. It gets supercharged every time. You hear what I said? Fast and the prayer work. To put in that work. What did it say? In Nehemiah 13. Now I'm going to go back to that. Let me go here first. <clears throat> what did it say? Nehemiah 6, verse 15. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of the LU in 52 days, and it happened. When all our enemies heard of it, and all the nations around us saw these things, that they were very disheartened in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was done by our God. You can't stop the law. No matter how hard you try, you're going to be wondering why you can't stop God. No matter what you do, you can't stop the law. I ain't never seen God be knocked out. I ain't never seen. You see? And we're going to make the enemies of the law perceive that this work was done by God, and we're going to turn all the curses into blessings, like it's saying in Nehemiah 13. We're going to turn all the curses into blessings. That's the lesson.
5, 1, 22. I fight, we win. That's what God say. I fight, we win. Ganamos la victoria, ne lucha, lucha. You hear what I said? We win the war. We victory. We gonna have victory. Victory is ours. It ain't nothing but judgment finna hit this earth. And yes, there's about to be a strange. Get ready. Get ready to see what my and blue mean do. Get ready to see what they. They about to, they should, man, you understand what's going on. We are in the end, and they about to accelerate. It say the last deception will be worse than the first deception. Ain't that what it say in Matthew 27, verse 63, 64, 65? Ain't that what it say? It say the last deception will be worse than the first deception. What was the first deception? That it was fallen angels that look like humans on the earth? You remember? The man in renown. The first deception. You got to go back to the beginning. Who declared the end to you from the beginning? Isaiah 46. 10. Who declared the end to you from the beginning? So you got to go back to the beginning to understand the genesis of our end. And we in it. The season of grace is in it. The season of grace is in it. And God said we enter the new season of the end. We gotta strive to enter the gate, beloved. Difficult is the way. Just take up your cross and follow me, Jesus said. I mean, carrying the heavy load and all that. But 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 striving works and labor, it works, beloved. Perseverance. Time of grace ended. New season of the end. Regardless of what anybody thinks, we're gonna keep going forward. We're gonna keep treading the mountain forward. That is love for God to warn his people. God love you enough to tell you that there's about to be a magnitude nine. That's the first one. And if Society don't repent, God gonna automatically strike with another one. It, it, it's, it's, God, God, God is amazing for warning us that the rapture is real. Where I seen multiple families looking for me, and they was putting, other people was putting on flower shirts, they was putting on all the flower shirts. I'm like, is it about to happen now? Like in the dream, this is what I said. I'm like, is the rapture getting ready to take place? This is what I said in the dream while I'm watching all, all God people get raptured. God said after a certain judgment. I'm not going to say which one. But it happened right after that. Because the world going to be thrust in the, in the pandemonium. Pandemonium. It's going to be thrust the day of 10 million car wrecks. And it's going to be more than that. People was running everywhere. In, in suits and everything. Coming out of work. They was coming out of work. People was like Jesus came. All the creation. Everybody knew. The animals knew. Everybody knew. Everybody knew that the rapture really happened. It ain't gonna be no secret rapture. Everybody gonna see it. That's why Jesus gave us a clear warning. And Mark, let me turn to this, and then I'm gonna go to that, because I ain't read it yet. The signs is taking place in the sun, in the moon, and the stars. What did it say? In Mark 13, verse, it's a, it's a different, it's a different explanation, but it give you, it give you, it give you some, some insight. It gives you some insight how we need to prepare in holiness and righteousness. How we need to stay ready. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Like God purify me. Con I con consecrate me. Consecrate everything to the Lord. Sanctify me, Lord, and holiness and blameless before your eyes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Christ of Jesus. We're going to make it do what it do. What does it say? In Mark 13, verse 32. No one knows the day or hour. But, uh, but of that day and hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed 
watch and pray for you do not know when the time is. And up in there, look, I just seen it right now. It's I gotta write it down too. Look what it say. It it say, look, it is it is time. Look, it is time. I gotta write that down. God say it right there. It is time. What it say? It is like a man going to a foreign country who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to each his work. So it ain't meant for you to do the work I'm doing for the Lord. It may, it may be meant for you just to do what you've been doing. You're storing up a little bit of food. You're storing up water. It may, it may not even be for you. You hear what I say? That is your ministry. Take care of your children. Take care of your babies. If that's what God wants you to do, doing that, being, 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 you know, not idle though for the kingdom of heaven. We don't be idle. We keep working. We keep moving. Keep moving and grooving. You hear what I said? We keep it moving. We keep moving and grooving. We don't stop. You hear what I said? What it say? It's like a man going to a far country who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to each his work. They get real demonic. There don't be nobody over here. <laughs> and to each his servants and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. In the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. You don't know if Jesus is coming in the morning, the night. Morning, when the rooster crowing, we don't know what time. All Jesus tell us right now is to watch and pray to be found worthy to escape. And you will as long as you just stick with the law, beloved. Don't try to trust in yourself. We can do nothing apart from, from, our, from, from, from God, beloved. Nothing. I feel the spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. What does it say? Psalm 148. Praise to the Lord from creation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him from the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, the heavens of heaven. The heavens of heavens. And you waters above the heavens. The waters above the heavens. You hear the insight? You hear what it say? The waters above the heavens. In the heaven of the heavens. We all praise him. Let, let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. Let there be life. For he commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. And, and made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Hallelujah. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creepy things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people. Hallelujah. The praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, of people near to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You hear what I say? God is with us. We praise the Lord over here. In the middle of the storm coming. In the coming days. The days are being shortened. What's coming in, in, the, in the next days, you about to see it dramatic. Right? So keep warning. I already showed you. Let me go to it real quick.
You see the price of turkey? I don't celebrate anything. You hear what I said? But, but, but turkey, seven dollars a pound. You hear what I said? It's seven dollars a pound. Look. Look, 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 look at the date, 2722. Look. They gonna strike. Look. Russia gonna strike Ukraine. USA, Israel. Man. Gog and Magog. Hand over. Warsaw. Warsaw, California. We about to get hit by a major earthquake. It's gonna be, we about to get hit. We finally about to get hit. It's finally about to come to pass. It's finally about to come to pass. Part of Hawaii going to be uninhabitable. Remember hearing that? I got to say some of the same things so you understand that God really is speaking. Hallelujah, I feel the spirit of the Lord. I feel the fire of the Lord just hit me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We about to get hit real hard. They gonna be, they gonna say, am I dreaming? Remember what I told you about California? When they see a 5.7 in Beverly Hills, it's over with. Hey, look, this, 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 this is two what? 22. When they see a, when they see a, look, I seen a 5.2 warning quake. Look, for California, look. Did you not just see it happen? A warning quake? Look. 5.2, and then I seen the 5.7 in Beverly Hills. These was both for Californians. These were both for Californians. 5.2. Did you see me and Ma shoot up the concert? Did you see people get crushed to death today? And are you seeing anything that's going on around the world? Ethnic cleansers, Somalia bombings. All the bombing of the ships again, and they coming out saying, y'all are sabotaged, y'all sabotaging the, the Nord Stream pipeline. Y'all did it. They like, y'all did it. They saying who did it. You nail them in Russia. The ones from World War II. The ones who waited for, they hate Nazis. They think this country is Nazis. They Manhattan Project. Remember when they stole the scientists? You hear what I said? They stole the signs of Operation Paperclip. You hear what I said? When you ask, you hear what I said? <laughs> she, I, I, Operation, Operation Paperclip. You, you remember that? You remember the Battle of Stalingrad? Right, right, they let them use all their weapons to their depleting, and then they froze them out and starved them out. Around this time, they, start, they starved them out and cut them off, went behind them in the middle of snow. Russia used to fighting blizzards. You hear what I said? An iceberg, blizzard, Siberian, frosty coast. They used to it. You hear what I said? They know how to operate, keep going to keep. They got food. They got it. The battle of Stalingrad. The battle of the Bulge. World War War II in color. It's World War II in HD and history repeat itself. They say all the rivers ran into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Ain't that what they say in Ecclesiastes 1? Verse 4 and 5, on down. They say all the rivers ran into the sea. Yeah, have you noticed that? That all the rivers ran into the sea? It's knowledge in the word of God. You hear what I said? All the rivers ran into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Don't be no fool. You hear what I said? Don't fall for the fool's gold of deception. Did you hear what I said? It's getting supercharged right now. You hear what I said? Pop a college for the law. I don't know what people are talking about. The battle. Excuse me. The Battle of Stalingrad, they starved out, they starved out here in the army. They remember all that. They remember losing 44 million in that war. They said they ain't not going for that again. You hear what I said? Remember what I told you. Let me see if I can find it. I 
I seen a certain YouTuber. I can't even show you his name on here. But he just suddenly passed away. And it was shocking. I, you probably seen him when I held it up. I ain't mean to. I don't be saying nobody name. But I seen a certain YouTuber. His sudden, his sudden demise. Cause they ain't preaching the truth. And they playing with God. Look, look what they saying now. Look what they saying. Look, 129, 22. I said, this is the end of time. It is the end of the world. I see so many huge news stories. People could not keep up with what was going on. Like what we seeing right now, it's so much happening. It's like, man, people sending me this, this, and this. they like, look at all this happening. Look, I'm like, you better keep your eyes on the law. I understand we, we, there's so much stuff happening. But you better keep your eyes on the law. You see what happened below, below the, her husband. And, man, it's wicked. America is over with. It's wicked. You hear what I said? If, if you go to the fish market and the head is rotting, then the body is rotting. Then the body is rotting. What did it say before I go there? You want me to keep going? Cause I'm feeling supercharged now. All of a sudden, we, I'm feeling supercharged. You hear what I said? But you got to watch the whole video, please. And thank you. And, and hit that like button for me. You hear what I said? I appreciate it. And I'm trying to get to all the comments as fast as I can. But I just be, uh, I just be moving and grooving with the Lord at all times, beloved. You hear what I said? So I may be going here and there. You hear what I said? Dipping and dabbing. You hear what I said? Dipping and diving for the law, you're everywhere. You hear what I said? Throw the backpack on and I'm out. You hear what I said? I'm out. You hear what I said? God love you. You hear what I said? Isaiah 1 verse 4. At last, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a brood of evildoers, children who are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked to anger the Holy One of Israel. They have turned away backward. Why should you be stricken again? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faints. From the sole of the foot, even to the head. There is no soundness in it, but bruises, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have been closed. They have not been closed or bound up or soothed with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Strangers devour your land in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Nothing but bruises and putrefying sores. But I remember when I told you, though, when you start seeing Vladimir Moon give a whole bunch of speeches like he doing, he doing it so he can. They already know that America and use nuclear bombs already. So that right there already got everybody like, we're going to hit first. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They seen, they seen what happened in, in Nagasaki and Hiroshima and all this stuff where they turn people on the bones for no reason. They didn't have to do that. They wanted to test it out to see what happened. The other countries know what this country is capable of. They know what it's capable of. That's why they like, that, remember what I showed you? One, 28, 22. No. It's on this side. 129.22. The end of the news source, not keeping up with what was going on. Resident gave a speech saying they had to go to war for the sovereignty and security of their country. Exactly the same words what I heard in the dream, and I'm hearing that. Are you hearing it? There's a storm coming. The perfect storm, the perfect conditions. It's five stages to war, and they all taking place. Geopolitical, all this stuff. It ain't went kinetic yet. You hear what I say? Economical, all this stuff. So, social upheavals. Everywhere is starting to rise. They say we only got 25 days worth of fuel left, diesel fuel. 
I'm looking at everything. I'm not, I'm not looking at one tree in the forest. I gotta look at everything. And then look at everything behind that and look and be like, it's a, it's a storm coming. It's a storm coming. You remember, you remember when Wicked Trump? You remember when Wicked Trump? What'd he say? It's gonna be the coldest, darkest, cold, dark, dark winter. I've been raising the speed one, but still in effect. He the one that said that. But he said it's gonna be the coldest, darkest winter you ever experienced. They all in cahoots. Nothing but distractions. You hear what I said? The money, and the money going is is this a bit this about Sarah, that Nero. Yeah, that this about Sarah. Just like your Santo de Gisa, this about Sarah Mui Pranto. The Holy Church is gonna disappear. And it happens at a sudden notice. It happens unexpectedly. Cause everything is in place right now. We don't got the way the way the world is right now. We ain't got years left. It's changing every day. It only takes one of our judgment, earthquake or tsunami, to happen on when they when Japan got in and 11 That happened when it was snowing. A tsunami when it was snowing. So the water didn't dry up like that. It was fire starting. They being getting hit by harbor waves. It's, it's America, it's time to get doomsday. Everywhere be getting hit for years. You hear what I said? God bless this nation the most. And what do we do with the blessing? Give us more, Lord. Give us more abundance. Let us eat our field. Let us, let it, let it, let it, let, let, let us keep going, Lord. What it say? The whole Bible is prophetic. All of it. What it say? Amos 6. Warnings to Zion and Samaria. Woe to you, I the ease of Zion, who trust in Mount Samaria. Notable persons in the chief nation. To whom the house of Israel comes, go over to the cow name and see, and from there go to Hammond the great, the go down to Gath of the Philistines, are you better than these kingdoms? Or is their territory greater than your territory? Woe to you who put far off the day of doom, who caused the seed of violence to come near, who lie on beds of iron, on a neck, on a timber, timber beating, oh, 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 California Keys eyes, Timber P. Oh, oh. oh you hear what I said? Look at how I shut it out my soul. <laughs> I'm like, no, you hear what I said? It's supercharged. What it say? Who lie, lie on beds of ivory, stretch out on your couches, eat lambs from the flock, and calves from the midst of the stall, who idly sing the sound of string instruments and invent for yourself musical instruments like David, who drink wine from bowls and anoint yourselves with the best ointments, but are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore, they shall now go captive as the first of the captives, and those who recline at banquets shall be removed. The Lord God has sworn by himself. The Lord God of hosts says, I abhor the pride of Jacob and hate his palaces. Therefore, I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. Then it shall come to pass. If 10 men remain in one house, they shall die. And when a relative of the dead with one who will burn the bodies, picks up the bodies and takes them out of the house, he will say to one inside of the house, are there any more with you? Then someone will say none. And he will say, hold your tongue, for we dare not mention the name of the law. Oh, this nation is in trouble. Repent, beloveds. This is a declaration of, of judgment and repentance. Moses came preaching the law, and Jesus come to, to preach repentance and forgiveness before the judgment. The judgment is in the earth. California about to get rocked. Everywhere you hear, you can't spell Spain without pain. Multiple places. Remember the Nigerian earthquake? You about to see it. The Nigerian earthquake, it was like a 7.8. 
in, the, in Lagos. Was that the sexual perversion everywhere? God judge, God judge more for sexual perversion than a majority of the other. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because once they stepped in the car realm with the sexual depravity, depravity, they wanted to reign, they wanted to have, they with the angels. And the angels came out and blinded everybody and was like, we got to dip up out of here right now. Lot's wife ain't even named. You hear what I said? She not even named. She disobeyed at the last second and turned into stone when it was on. Be obedient to the law, to the voice of the Lord. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you make my spirit sensitive to hear your voice. Oh, and to destroy the devil trying to whisper and all that in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, make my spirit sensitive to hear your voice in the name of Jesus. When they talk about their still small voice, that means the sensitivity rate of how you can hear it. I rebuke Satan. I rebuke the fire with the the devil. Hallelujah. We supercharged right now. It's supercharged. I don't remember Putin giving him speeches saying the exact words what God showed me. They going to war for the sovereignty and for Mother Russia. They know America is capable of using miles. They know this. All the nations know that they telling them stop sending them up over here or we going to use them on you. They coming out, they doing it because they doing it legally. So it ain't a war crime when they, they about to do it. But God going to protect us in it. It ain't for you to fear. Whatever's going to come, it's going to happen. But it ain't meant for you to fear. It's meant for you to trust God like, God, oh, I need you to have me not in fear. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Be anxious for nothing. There are mega earthquakes about to hit this earth that are going to be devastating. It only take one of them. With God. I'm talking about the continents breaking. If the continents move one inch and all that water come in the land, I seen the ground sink subside and the water just came in. It was over. The ground shifted down and the water just covered it instantly. It wasn't even no tsunami. It just came in over it. The ground sunk. The ground finna sunk woe well to the coastlands. The ground sunk, dipped down. Six fold happened to dip down. You hear what I said? Sunk down. And the water just came in there and swooped up in there. You hear what I said? There was a storm coming. The, the, the conditions are right for the perfect, perfect in the day storm. The world as we know it finna end. We'll be doing the love stream soon, beloved. You need to prepare with the Lord, though. Don't fear, beloved. Don't fear. The rapture is real, beloved. I see multiple people looking. It's nothing they can do. Jesus came. Jesus came. Jesus running around, weeping and gnashing, rolling on the ground. My neighbor was crying uncontrollably, uncontrollably, pulling out her head, ripping it out, literally ripping it out, ripping it out, going crazy, left behind for escort. That's why we got to pray for people. She got left. You got left behind from rough sex. Confusion, despair in the land is what's next. Great tribulation left the world perplexed. The beast and the false prophet get no rest. Quarter of a billion parachuting out of jets. You hear what you ever hear what I actually said? I didn't say a quarter of a million. I said a quarter of a billion. A quarter of a 200 million man, 200 million man army. A quarter of a billion parachuting out of jets. So maybe the last message it may not. I love you, beloved brothers and sisters. Prepare with food and water. No fear. The, the haters of the Lord, they gonna be in fear. They gonna understand our God is not playing. They gonna understand. They, 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 they gonna understand that uh, this may be the last message that I said. It may not, but we're gonna be doing the love stream soon. I love y'all, beloved brothers and sisters. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it helped many. I hope many get saved. I hope many get healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I believe many going to be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, because I, I felt the power of God coming off me and still is. You hear what I said? But I got to go upload this thing for you. You hear what I said? Make it do what it do. Pop out college. 
floral shirts, floral hoodies, vests. You hear what I said? All this stuff. Sherpa in the derp. You hear what I said? Ask God to make you clean and holy. You hear what I said? But you need to understand. The world is finna go through a storm together. The storm I'm talking about is a global storm. It's the, per the conditions is right. You hear what I said? Everything has a season. And the conditions is right. You hear what I said? Jeremiah 7, verse 32. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when it will no more be called to fat, or the valley of the sun that you know, but the valley of slaughter, for they will bury it to fat until there is no more room. And then I'm going to skip up to verse 29. Cut off your hair and cast it away and take up a lamentation on the desolate heights. For the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath, and the days is coming, and so is the storm. 